Well, hello out there, YouTube. Thought I'd share what I was doing today with you guys out there. I was making another test tape. This time I was making a Super VHS test tape. But more precisely, a Super VHS ET. Because I don't actually have any Super VHS media. I only have normal VHS tapes. But what Super VHS ET is, is a way to record Super VHS quality on a normal tape. So that's what I've been playing around with today. And I thought I'd show you the results for anyone curious. It actually does make quite a difference recording in Super VHS mode compared to VHS mode, as I'm sure most would expect, but it's quite a difference. Here's my little kind of test setup right now. And one thing I thought was quite interesting with these JVC units is that, so right now I'm in VHS mode, and as you can see, that's just your normal blue screen that's there by default. But if I click the navigation menu and then use these arrows to navigate, or on the controller I could use that too, it actually shows me an index of what's on this VHS tape. So that was something that was introduced to VCRs sometime in the 90s, I guess. I forget what it's called exactly. I think it's index searching, maybe. But I could just scoot ahead to any one of these recordings. So it says this first recording here is 29 minutes. And then the second recording on this tape is 8 minutes and then 86 minutes of empty tape after that. So anyhow, I thought that was quite unique. Or at least not unique necessarily, but quite an interesting invention near the end of VHS tapes. Or near the end of the VCRs, I should say. So, why don't I throw up the footage of the demonstration that compares VHS to Super VHS. You guys can let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, for these tests, I've used the Elgato Capture just because it was uh, convenient and handy for me. Um, I didn't bother going through a, a Huff YUV Capture, um, so keep that in mind for the results here.